we're back in the garage time for spring maintenance number six this is probably the last one because i've already made a video on the solex on fixing the fuel system and that was also also basically a bit of maintenance so this is my i can't remember what year it is honda amigo aka fonda it's one of the last models that has a two-stroke engine uh, I think a model after that, or the one after that one, uh, came out with the four-stroke engine. So it's one of the last two-strokes, uh, two-stroke Amigos. It's a pretty neat little bike. I bought this one for my girlfriend so we could uh, ride together. And uh, we're actually going to try and uh, ride tomorrow. Me with the uh, Green Smurf and uh, Herbert Fonda. So it has a new spark plug from last year. I'm just going to check it. Check the carb and uh, check the chain as well. And there is just one fix that's really needed. As you can see here, the kickstand. Uh, it's a common problem with the Amigos. Apparently, there is a little flap in here that holds the uh, kickstand at an angle. But apparently, after a while, this uh, flap gets bent or pushed over. And then the kickstand actually drops too far. It's a common problem with these. And it's actually, or it should be an easy, easy fix, if I remember correctly. I also have to clean it. And apparently I have to order new tires because these are getting dry rotted. Oh, and also I think I'm going to need an oil change because I think this one did have one last year. So let's get straight to it. So let's try and take out the kickstand so we can check it. I think uh, this is the little flap that people mean. This probably has to be more outwards so that the kickstand actually stays in position. So the removal of this is pretty simple. Remove the spring. Be careful of these because if you catch these in the eye, that's a bad thing. <laughs> so remove the spring. Take out the C-clip here and then you should be able to take out the axle of the kickstand and the kickstand should be free. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, there we go. Leave it there. <clears throat> and now this little C-clip over here. C clips on both sides, so let's take out the other one because the exhaust is in the way to remove it completely. So the axle, there we go. So, what I'm actually going to try and do is bend this piece up a bit more and actually make take a small metal plate and maybe weld it in between so that this thing stays at its position like it should. As you can see. It's much more open now. I think that should do the trick. Maybe just a bit more. Let's actually put it in and see where it stops now. So it's back in. The kickstand is on the ground. I think the plate actually bent already in a bit. So maybe just give it a little nudge back open and weld something in. Because I don't think this will hold the bike so i've just cut this little piece here tiny tab of steel oh and i just dropped it through the hole and i'm just going to weld it like this so i'm going to clean up the metal here and give it a shot with the welder So, like I said before, I'm not a welder. I can stick metal together, but it all doesn't always look that good. 
So while the paint is drying on the kickstand, I'm gonna take the carb off. It's a uh, cute little cane carb. It's a bit more sophisticated than uh, the other ones that I have here. So apart from this long fuel line, it's pretty simple to take it off. Just take the air filter off with these two screws over here. And then uh, remove the carb with these two screws in the back here. And uh, then it should be free to go. So I'm just gonna quickly take it off and take it to the bench to take it apart for the ultrasonic cleaner. So we got the carb out, let's uh, open it up. Well, the carb was in the ultrasonic cleaner. I went ahead and drained the old oil. As you can see, it's about time for an oil change. So, we got some fresh one. And uh, I actually have no idea how much oil this thing needs. There we go. Let's put the car back on and see if this thing wants to fire up again. I'm running out of battery, but let's see if this thing will fire up. Oh, nice. Fire is right up, nice and smooth. 